What's up, FOA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Sunday to you guys, as well as happy football day for those of you who are football fans out there. Today, I'm just relaxing and watching football all day. I decided to stay at the campground uh, when I just thought, hey, tomorrow is football day. This was yesterday, thought. And I have free Wi-Fi here from the um, campground. It's a really good signal. I have been able to watch football and a couple of other things during my stay here. So I'm just gonna kick it here for one more day and then head out tomorrow. Still not certain what I'm going to do uh, or where I'm going to go tomorrow, um, but we'll see. But today I am going to be fixing a, another yet simple but delicious meal. I'm going to be making some white rice using my rice cooker here. And during this trip, we stopped at a Sam's Club, and I'm not a member of any of those things, BJ's, Costco, Sam Clubs, but Michael was. And I picked up some of this seasoned roast beef. And <clears throat> I decided that that would be good with some savory beef gravy. I'm not doing all that stuff. Savory beef gravy. <laughs> and that is going to be my dinner for today. Now, I know a lot of you always say when I do a cooking video, Anthony, where are your vegetables? Where I generally eat broccoli in just about every type of these types of meals. And I don't have any with me, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but once I get back to PA, I will get some broccoli in here. But... Broccoli seems to be the only vegetable that I eat the most of and I like the best. And it goes with a lot of different meals that I can just incorporate right into the meal. But enough talking here. Let's go ahead and get some <clears throat> rice on the go. Just gonna do one cup of rice. This, <laughs> this rice cooker smell like curry. <laughs> That's how much curry I'll be cooking. It smells like curry. Then I have some chicken broth. It requires one, one and a half cups, but it seemed like with the rice cooker, if you don't take it out early um, or you don't put more than what it's asking for, it kind of get a little, little icky at the bottom. So I'm just going to take it out sooner. But we got one cup. Again, I'm not washing my rice. Some of you guys say that you don't wash your ri rice. You never wash your rice. But I'm not going to wash my rice, at least not this time. All right, got that in there. I'm going to move this rice and this chicken stock out the way. I think I'm plugged in, I am, but that's not on. Okay, the rice is on its way. I'm gonna sit this down on the floor there and let it does do its thing. And I'm gonna set up now for get that a little cleaning. I use this now to give my uh, cooktop some leverage. I don't know, that looks a little too high. And I don't have my top out, so I gotta get my top out. All right, let's see how that works out. I'll know as soon as I put something in there. 
So I went to charge my Jackery up outside at the um, electrical outlet there, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't charge. It kept cutting off. And first I was like, okay, what is going on here? And then I quickly realized that it must be that the electrical outlet that they have here at this site here must only be like a 20, 20 amp electrical outlet because <clears throat> I'm like, what in the who nanny? Ooh, this smells good. Oh my goodness. Whoa. So I'm really putting my Jackery to the test now, boy. I got my, my, um, where am I looking? I'm looking all over the place. <laughs> it's on the floor, Anthony. I got my rice cooker on the floor. So I got some seasoned beef, roast beef. Oh, it smells so good. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss some in here. As is because this is the way I'm going to eat it off of my plate. I think that's enough. And I love, love, love that it is, I love, love, love that it, look, it's resealable. Back in the fridge it goes. And I can eat a, I can make a roast beef sandwich out of that, you know. Oh, wow. And so now I'm going to crack open this jar of gravy. I might be starting to cook this prematurely because <laughs> the rice is going to take a little longer. This is basically just heating it up. Again, I'm not going to... Ooh, this gravy is nice and thick. Mm. Yes, indeedy. That's what I'm talking about. So I got a little bit left. Maybe I'll do something else with it. And y'all know, I'm going to have to put my salt and pepper, my Killings salt and pepper blend. I got to get my kick. Even though, even though it says that the roast beef is seasoned, come on now. Also, I'll just sit that there on the bed. Watching some football. <laughs> nice, nice. All right, guys, that's on this way. I'm just gonna go in here and get my top and put on top of here. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this, put it on a 2.5 so that it can just take a little more time to get done because, or heat it up, I should say, because the roast beef is already done. And I don't know, you know what I'm gonna do? <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little bit of this chicken stock in here to make my gravy a little bit more loose because I want to have enough gravy to put on top of the rice. So I'm just going to put a little dab in there. A little squig in there as one of my uh, former friends. <laughs> one of my former friends used to say. <laughs> a little swig in there. like using these because then you got you have that gravy all on your your dishcloth I'd rather just go ahead and use a paper towel because then I can throw it away so I just remembered that I had some shredded carrots in my refrigerator so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that in there Just a little bit. I 
I don't know if I finished telling you guys about the outlet here, the, uh, yeah, the outlet, but um, the one here at the site was not strong enough to charge my Jackery up. It kept cutting off. So I ended up having to drive down to the uh, laundry room. They have a laundry room here and take my um, Jackery into the laundry room and use a regular wall socket. And I um, sat there for about an hour and a half my jackery was at like 25%. I was like, oh my goodness. I started panicking. Like, this is not going to be enough to last me my drive home because I'm taking my time. It's probably going to take me two or three days to get back home because I'm not going to do a whole lot of driving in one day when I don't have to. So <clears throat> I went down there and they did have a regular wall socket and I sat in the laundry room for about an hour and a half and got my jackery charged up. Now I am going to go to the laundry room before I leave tomorrow and charge it back up to 100% because right now with me using my induction cooktop, my rice cooker, it's pulling about, it's pulling about 798 watts. Yeah, 798, was that 98 or? Yeah. It, kept, it keep fluctuating, but somewhere around that range, seven, 790. <clears throat> but yeah, so I'll do that and then I'll feel much better hitting the road. Um, the rest stops on the way coming on the road trip, the rest stops that we stopped at, they had electrical outlets that I can um, plug in, but that was in Tennessee. But once we got out of Tennessee and got into the like the Dallas rest stops, they did not have um, electrical outlets. So that's why it's gonna be important for me to be all charged up so that first stretch going back, the rest stops won't, won't have the um, electrical outlets. But once I get into, um, well, I'm not going that route. I shouldn't be going through Tennessee because <laughs> I'm not in Dallas. I should be going straight up. Uh, what is this beltway that takes you into, uh, I don't know. But eventually I'll be on 95, so we'll see if they have electrical outlets there. All right, guys, everything is done. Uh, the roast beef is heated up and the rice is done. Thankfully, I checked the rice because, like I said, if you go the full duration of the rice, you might have some hard rice in the bottom. But it's all done now. The gravy smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up. Have myself some Sunday dinner while watching some football. And see what I mean? It was getting a little, I don't know if you can see it, but it was getting a little dark at the, a uh, little burnt like at the bottom. That's enough. Got myself some flavored water. This is, uh, I bought a 32 pack from Sam's Club. Has the mandarin orange, the grape, the wild berry, which is my favorite, and lemon. Let's put this back up here. Right, guys here it is some seasoned roast beef from Sam's Club I put some shredded carrots in there over some white rice this is my Sunday's dinner all right I'm gonna put a little hot sauce on there
And I was gonna put a little bit more of that uh, black pepper in there, but I put it away. So let's just have at it and see how this tastes. All righty. Oh, that gravy is so good. Oh my gosh, that gravy is so good. You know, any meals that have like brown gravy in it, whether you make it homemade, it's, it's so good. It just, mm. mm. mm, -mm, -mm. And hot sauce always makes the meal just a little bit more tastier. Mmm. 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 Wow, though. Mmm. Wow, that roast beef is really good. Wow. Mm, mm, mm. I can feel some of it stuck in my teeth. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. Mm, mm, mm. I love myself some rice, boy. Mm, mm, mm. Love myself some rice. I can just eat. Honestly, I could have just warmed this gravy up and put this gravy on top of this rice and ate and ate it and mm, it ate it like that. Mm, 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 mm. Wow, this is good. Yes, this is this is falling in the wowser category. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Ooh, that burnt my mouth. Mmm. Blow, Anthony, blow. Woo. Ooh, I got hot. God damn. Oh, my Lord. Mm. Anthony, blow your food. God damn, you ain't that in a hurry. Oh, Ooh, these are so good. Oh my gosh. Oh boy, these flavored waters. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I could taste the hot sauce, boy, and smell it. Mm -mm. That's one thing I'm not going to skip on living this lifestyle is eating good. And that induction cooktop, my, my, my. What a wonderful addition. And to know that I don't have to use that propane cooktop, man, what a wonderful addition that is. I'm telling you, if you can hook yourself up with a large enough power station to use an induction cooktop, I'm telling you, it's gonna be the best car life investment that you make to be able to be in your vehicle and not have to worry about gases and rolling the windows down. The only reason you'll have to roll the window down is like 
to let steam or something out of your vehicle and not some propane that's coming in that's in your car man that's priceless to me that is priceless to me that is making a huge huge difference in this lifestyle for me mm. Okay, we're gonna blow this time. You know, learn your lesson. Hey guys, I'm gonna finish this off. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.